This video, my friends, back at it again. Married at First Sight, season 18, Chicago, episode one. Five new couples. Couple number one, Michelle and David. Michelle is 38, David is 35. Michelle's independent. She's been single for six years. She wants a partner. And the very moment she said a light-skinned black guy, I said, no, you just did not say out loud in front of the whole world that you're a colorist. What? What? Michelle, uh, we can't be friends anymore. We cannot be friends, Michelle. You said a light-skinned black guy. I said, she lost me. She lost me, a colorist. A self-confirmed, proclaimed colorist. Also wants beer tattoo. Someone that's gonna be a ride or die. David, he wants a strong, independent woman. He is half Puerto Rican. He said he's got a sweet spot for blonde, blue-eyed women. He said he can provide emotionally, physically, mentally. I said, where's the finance? <laughs> he lost me at compassionship. I was like, what, what is that? What is compassionship? David does have some really great examples of loving marriages. His parents have been married for like 30 plus years. His grandparents over 50 years. MM and EKG. MM is 35, a nurse practitioner. EKG is 41. He works in education. High school counselor. He actually tried out for Mary at first sight when it was in Houston. They could not find him a match. MM's friends we meet as they celebrate her birthday. She breaks the news. Her friends are not feeling it. She's a first generation Nigerian American. She put her career first. We find out that she has lost her father. She really wants to start a family. She did the whole career thing. She's not ready for the family thing. Madison, 29, Allen, 36. Allen, he got money. Uh, some dips, Reese's Pieces, ah. pretzels, <laughs> and a large popcorn. A large? You got get money. He got money. Get it all for him. He pulled up in that whip. I said, ooh, Allen, you got money. A financial systems manager grew up struggling once his parents divorced he lived with his mother he wants the family that he never had madison come here girl come here girl two things one stop the fillers and botox two come here close blend your extensions Get a better color match with your hair and then the extensions. She's a fun time. She's a good time. She calls herself the shot queen. She also is a child of divorce. She had an absent mother. I said that Alan's got a very funny, easygoing personality. He's ready, ready. He is ready, ready. Carla, 34 and Juan, 36. We first meet Carla. She's going dress shopping. The first dress already gave her anxiety. But then she was straight chilling, flowing with the universe. <laughs> Carla's a trip. Carla is a trip. One of six kids, traditional Mexican parents. I, Teneza, think they're the best match. I do. Carla and Juan both come from latino families both extroverts i said they may be a good match juan was born in colombia and he's now living the american dream he he says he's an intricate personality camille and thomas camille 32 thomas 42. camille considers herself a hopeless romantic her parents divorced at 13. even thomas's twin remember he's a twin thinks that this is a good idea. Thomas is a self-proclaimed perfectionist. Thomas looks depressed. He does. Thomas looks depressed. We find out later that he has been adopted, he and his twin brother. His twin brother is married and has been married to another twin. But at 42, I think that he's very set in his ways. 
he is getting married for the wrong reasons. He's tired of being left out. He wants to honor his father's legacy. This is one thing that he has not checked off his list. All the grooms get together, all the brides get together. They're like super lovey-dovey hugging. When it gets into all the SEX talk, I was like, come on, that's too far. That's They got lit and their lips got loose and I felt that was not classy. Mm -mm -mm. Wedding day of Camille and Thomas. Not only is their adopted mom there, their bio mom is there. It turns out that Thomas has formed a friendship with her about seven years ago. As Thomas waits at the altar, Camille has a moment. She says, I don't know if this is really me. It's all too much. We break that fourth wall when the producer asks her, why get to this point to have these feelings? Sister Gabrielle steps in and literally talks Camille down from a ledge. No exchange of gifts? The officiant was like, what y'all got me into? <laughs> What is going on here? Camille's dad, where is your tie, sir? Not only did he not have a tie on, his shirt was not even buttoned. It's not right. Where's your tie, sir? Where's your tie, sir? So she ends up going down the aisle. Camille is still, she still gets married. I said not telling her new husband her high school accolades. They say their own vows. Thomas made me laugh. And they really are a handsome couple. They are. They are. Wedding day of Madison and Alan. Alan's parents haven't seen each other since his college graduate. It was too much drama. Too much parental drama. And I felt bad for Alan that he had to manage his mother's emotions as well as his own. He seems like a really good guy. His parents have shown him what he doesn't want. I said, not his dad taking shots. <laughs> what? They exchange gifts. His heart warms up. And he's excited about the potential for love. He says that I can be loved. I said, I like Madison's dad. So my prediction so far, episode one, Michelle and David. 50-50. MM and EKG, I don't think they're gonna work out. I don't. I don't think that she's gonna appreciate his artistic side, I don't. And I'm sorry to say that, I hope she does. But like, he's a painter, he's a poet, he's like a Renaissance black man, as well as being an educator. And I'm not sure, one, that she's ready to get married, like she just lost her dad. And then two, will she appreciate the totality of who he is? I don't think they're gonna work, but we'll see. Madison and Alan. Alan really wants it. I think that he really wants it. I hope they work. Carla and Juan, they're the best match in my opinion. They are. They're the most alike, most similar backgrounds. Camille and Thomas. Thomas is depressed, you guys. Thomas is depressed. I, I don't know what issues there are there. I hope he's in therapy. I don't think it's going to work. He's too set in his ways, but we'll see. Let's give him a shot. As always, leave your questions, comments below, and I'll see you in our next review.